Hi, I'm Murray Bartlett, and I play Frank in The Last of Us. Hello, I am Nick Offerman, and I play the role of Bill. I think we first met uh, on the uh, on a dirt field in between our trailers, uh, in, in which base camp was parked, which in Canada they might call a circus. Are you hurt? It's just just a bruise. And you uh, were wearing cool clothes. <laughs> Uh, I was a huge fan from White Lotus. And so, I mean, you were friendly, you were generous. Uh, you made me feel like I might get out of this alive. <laughs> I heard that I was cast because I got a phone call <laughs> from my, uh, my agent, I think, or my manager saying that I was cast. This was pandemic times i mean quite deep in the pandemic i think still mm -hmm. right fairly mm -hmm. deep um and so i couldn't really go and run in the streets and leap for joy but i did go upstairs and very enthusiastically told my partner that i i you know landed this job that i was very very excited about so who's bill and frank one, one of the champagne problems about things going well in our business, mm -hmm. you auditioned for the role because the White Lotus had not swept the planet right. as the juggernaut of, <laughs> of entertainment that it is. And so had, had it come up a few months later, I think similarly to me, uh, because there's plenty of tape available on me, right. they just offered me the role. Right. Yeah. So, which is great. It's a I don't want. Thing. I don't want to trade that circumstance. <laughs> but you do lose out your agent calling you and saying, "Kid, you got the job." Right. Yeah. Uh, run yeah. down to the gravel pit and tell the fellas. <laughs> yeah. And so, but I mean, I found out I got to do it when I got offered it and figured out that uh, that I could do it, thankfully. And uh, I believe my wife and I hugged and then uh, made s slow, languorous love uh, <laughs> before cooking a three course dinner. Oh my God. Wow. I mean, I, I, I love to get rolls. <laughs> <laughs> I got the biggest sort of, you know, um, the longer road to finding out, but you got the better payoff, I think. Well, and I should say she's the cook. I mean, I'm, okay. I'm, I'm the sous chef and, and that I mean that both figuratively and literally. <laughs> I would build things out of wood like boats uh, and musical instruments, probably. I would try to be in nature as much as possible, which I do, even though I am an actor, but probably like try and be a park ranger or something, someone, someone who takes care of nature somehow. That's the best. I, I applaud that. And I always, I'm like, why aren't we all park rangers? Right? I know. Come on. I know. <laughs> well, I don't know about you, Nick. <laughs> What's the best way to pass time in a bunker? Watching HBO, of course. I found it difficult to not, to, to read that scene and not weep. <laughs> Which, uh, because I, I'm a romantic, it just seemed like such a beautiful place to arrive at after we've gone on this long kind of road with these two characters. It made so much sense. It speaks to sort of bigger themes about the show. When I read that scene, I shook my head and said, Mason, you slick son of a bitch. <laughs>